Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is for CBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we still have the bull horns pointed up, green lights on, bull market looks to be intact. We've been establishing um, those long positions with the S&P and most recently the Russell, but I think it's time now to move into a little bit of a hedge position. Let's set up a trade in the gold market to hedge those long positions, but before I do that, gotta make a quick change. There we go, let's dive in. We've seen gold sell off quite a bit in anticipation of the coming December Fed rate hike. So that's being priced into the market. On top of that, we have the euro that has come off quite a long ways ahead of this Italian referendum vote. And we're seeing both markets move down into deeply oversold territory. The euro and the gold market trade in the same direction because the dollar and the gold market trade in the inverse relationship. So it looks like we're playing a little bit of an oversold bounce here in the gold market. Now, if the Fed hikes, and they most likely will, and don't deliver, deliver any kind of concrete indication as to when they're gonna hike again, you could see the dollar sell off in the gold market rally. On top of that, the market, the stock market has made a very long advance, moved into overbought territory, so I always like to trade um, kind of a defensive posture into an overbought stock market. Plus, as I mentioned, we're holding S&P and Russell long position, so as the stock market's pushed up into new highs, gold market down into lows, that's a good time to look for a little bit of a reversion to the mean. So as we get into the technicals here a little bit, let's take a look at a fib retracement. And you'll notice that the GLD has pulled back right into a key 61.8%. This is one of those pullback retracement levels that technical traders um, like us like to uh, keep an eye on. And look, we've pulled right down into the 618 level here. We're chopping around here, right around $112. And you'll also notice that the volume has begun to increase. The green bars are is the cumulative volume uh, traded that day on up session. So the green volume bars, you're starting to see a little bit more you know, active buying interest here in the GLD. So that starts to confirm that you're going to have a response from that 618 retracement. So the way I'm going to play this, guys, is I'm actually going to try to sell puts. Now, this is for option traders who have the ability to be naked short options. We're not getting naked here. We're selling options without any protection. Now, the reason I want to do this is in the gold market, I am okay as if the market drops a little bit lower down into about $111 region. If the market at expiration is below the puts that I sold, I will be put the stock. I will be given the shares of GLD, which I'm fine with. I want to hold the market. If we sell puts below the market and GLD just continues to go higher, we won't get the stock, but we'll keep the premium that we've collected. So either way, we'll make money. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and sell the 111 puts. I'm going to do that out in January. If I get put the stock, that's fine. Now, if you're not trading options, the way you could do this is you could just buy the stock outright. And I'm going to go ahead and put a stop loss below this last fiber tracement at about $100 in seven dollars so if you're just trading the stock outright you can go ahead and buy the gld now put a stop below uh, right around 107 i'm going to personally sell the 111 puts and if the market again drops to 107 i'm going to protect myself and get out of that get out of that trade so what i'm looking to do here is let's go out to those uh, uh january options i'm going to subtract a leg so I'm going to go ahead and sell the 111 put. It's going to be $1.97, which means per option contract sold, I will receive $197. Again, if at expiration, which is in January uh, 20th, if GLD is below 111, I'm going to be given the stock at $111, which I'm fine with. Okay, so that's the trade for GLD into an oversold gold market as well as a euro into an overbought stock market. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck in that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on Twitter for updates on this trade as well as all the other positions our traders are working. See you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.